Tyrese Maxey, DeAnthony Melton. Year four as a sixer, year two as a sixer. You guys are chosen to sit together. <laughs> What's so funny already? Oh, well, why is he sitting like that? I, I can't. Because he's interview. copying me. He's trying to be professional. I'm professional. It's year four. All right. Come on. Anyway, why are you guys seated here today? I chose you because you're friends. Tyrese, can you describe this friendship and how it came about? Well, you know, Melt came in and uh, and I thought he was sturdy. You know, from day one. So I was like, man, I'm like, man, we just bringing another old guy here. And then I realized Melt was only, I think at the time, 24. So I was like, oh my God, this is like, this is the homie right here. Like, we, we close in age. But uh, he's been great, man. And uh, I think everybody thought that we would probably be competing for minutes and competing and stuff like that. But like, it's funny because like, we're probably our, like each other's biggest fans. Like when he's out there, I'm not out there and vice versa, we were pulling each other to the side, telling each other to be aggressive. and. It's been great, and uh, it's been a great relationship, and proud to have him as a brother. Terry's, when you won your first Community Assist Award last year, I interviewed DeAnthony, and he mm -hmm. said something that I will not forget. He said that Tyrese is the type of person and player that makes the people around him want to be better. So, DeAnthony, <laughs> how has Tyrese made you better? Uh, I mean, I just think with his work ethic and just like how he carries himself, you know, he's always in po positive energy. Um, he's always looking about the brighter side of things, and just you know, he's ready for whatever you know comes his way. He rarely complains. I mean, if he does something wrong, but other than that, uh, I mean, he's always in good spirits, and I think that's what you need, you know, have around you to be a, you know, a good person. Tyrese, how has D'Anthony made you better? Honestly, if we talk basketball, <laughs> why are you laughing? I'm trying to get a real answer. Right? Honestly, if we can talk basketball, like he's helped me like defensively as far as like he's just you know we look kind of the same size, a little bit you know same height or whatever. He got longer arms, but like like he's helped me be in the right position. He's helped me like show me what he sees on the court and like how I could be effective as well. I think it helped me like especially later on <clears throat> at the end of the year last year. And then off the court, just another person that he has a he's a happy spirit. You know what I'm saying? Like it's whatever with Mel. Like whatever situation is, he's gonna find a way to to, to to strive in it. I think that's something that we both have in common and that we both try to bring to this team, to this organization is is bright brightness and, and Two guys who like to compete. You know, we all every time we step on the court, we're out there competing, but we're having fun while doing it. So yeah, you said it. D'Anthony is cool, calm, and collected. Yeah. Maybe more so than any player that I've ever worked with in terms of like staying super level, highs yeah. and lows. Where does that come from in your personality? <clears throat> I think that's honestly that's always just been me. Um, sometimes it's kind of like the saying, like act like you've been here before. You know what I mean? So it's just like. Not everything sometimes is that serious, and like you know, if it is, then you gotta understand what it takes to get the situation done. But uh, I try not to let a lot of things affect me, uh, get to me, and just uh, go into it with a clear mind and understand what what needs to happen, what needs to be you know be changed too. Not everything is that serious, but here's something that is extremely serious. Did you see Tyrese's 2K rating for three-point shooting? I said 84, 83. It better not be no 84, 83. No, but so it is. here's the thing: it. it's an 86. Which is which is around 17th, but he was the fifth best three point shooter in the Ooh. league last year. Where does that disrespect come from? You know, it's crazy. 2K is a crazy game. Uh, 2K is a crazy <laughs> Ronnie, game. Ronnie, Ronnie, <laughs> come on! Like, what do you want me to do? Yeah, all right. That's, that's bro, two years in a row. All right. 86 is crazy because bro shot like 100 percent feel like from three, and he got an 86. I mean, it's at cool. least a 90. Because cool. you know, if his is a 90, then I'm right behind there too. So like. Hey. You know show a little love, <laughs> Ronnie. Oh God, show like that. That's a little that. love. Tell me so. so Fifteen yeah. players ahead of you. Bulletin board material? It's crazy. No, it's not bulletin. <laughs> like I don't understand, but it's okay. I gotta shoot sixty percent this year, and then maybe seventy. <laughs> then I'll be. You know what I'm saying? If I, I get up there, you get a ninety-one. I have to ask you guys about Nick Nurse on a more serious note. I know you've had some opportunities now to get to know him a little bit. What's that experience been like in the early days? Uh, it's been good. I mean, for me. Um, you know, once it happened, he uh, he called me. You know what I mean? Just I mean, having that call and just him being able to just, you know, chop it up with you and understand what's going on. And, you know, he just, like we said earlier, free sp he's a free spirit and he's happy. So, you know, that type of stuff makes you gravitate towards him. So I think that was my experience with him, uh, with me and him early. Tyrese averages, like, in your career, a little over 15 points per game, in your career. But against Toronto, she wants to bring up your rookie year. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I'm oh, just, I'm just making. Stuff. I'm about to give you a compliment. Good, just wait for it. Yeah. Over 21 points per game, which is more than even last season's average, against Toronto. Tyrese, uh, 
How did you find such success against Nick Nurse? <laughs> how, are, how excited are you to team up with him? Yeah, just the whole idea of him being over there with those glasses, I just wanted to cook him. <laughs> nah, but I just always, <laughs> always tried That's to be- so mean. <laughs> I just always tried to be aggressive. Um, you know, it's, it, and that's against everybody now, I guess. But like, especially Toronto, it's something about like the six. I felt good when we played there, <laughs> and then even even when we played here, it, it was cool. But like, honestly, like we played them in like my first playoff starting, so like I had like this chip on my shoulder, and I had this um, how do I explain it? This this edge about myself to go out there and prove myself that I belonged in those situations, those type of pressure situations. So. He just, they were just the beneficiary of it. Yeah, and just, that's just how it goes sometimes. And, uh, and uh, I'm glad that he's here now, and I'm glad that he can bring some of the stuff that he br brought at Toronto because that's a difficult, that was a difficult team to play against, difficult organization to play against while he was there. So uh, we're, we're glad to have him. We're uh, ready to see what he's going to bring to the table, and uh, you know, we hope all good things probably. Excited to see how you bond with him. Excited to see how you continue to bond with each other. <laughs> One of my favorite little subplots of last season. Guys, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. No game? Yes, game. Now game. First question, who has better style? Oh, this game is going to be terrible. It's going to be good. This man comes to the play oh, while I shoot on it. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I'm new, ba new Balance does not count. Why new, not? New, OK. Why not? All Next right. question, who's the better trash talker? Oh, yeah, that's me for sure. Yeah. One, two, three, flip it. Okay. Oh, you see, Cole well, don't say nothing though. He just you steal Cole. the ball from people and, <laughs> and go back on offense. <laughs> Keep it pushing. Actions over words. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk mess this year. Okay, good. Uh, better first impression. Who makes a better first impression? And then follow up. Wait. Flip it. Okay, fine. Oh Aww. yeah, that's a good one. What'd you say? I didn't. I, I was. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey! I didn't, hey, this man I is was, crazy. I thought it was a one. Two, All that humble stuff. I thought it was. A, <laughs> it went out the door. I thought it was a two question. Okay, wait. Follow up. Follow up. Who makes a better lasting impression? Okay, that he can flip down because I didn't know that was I an wanna, answer. No, nah, I want to flip. No, 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 no. Wait, hold on, hold on. I got an answer. <laughs> I. <laughs> That's so nice. Look, I got one too. <laughs> so. Okay, next question. Who's more corny? Oh, that's that. Yeah. There's only one answer to this one. Yeah, that's what I was about to push up. Or name. Yeah. Yeah. T. Reese is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I made people laugh. He, yeah, he called it corny. I made people laugh. All right, next one. Who is cleaner, tidier? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Me. Okay, next question. All right. You I'll guys you. both have to wait tables at a restaurant for the night. Who's getting more tips? Oh, what? Say it one more, one more time. You both have to be waiters at a restaurant for a night. Who gets more tips? He didn't even spell me right. He said me. I'm saying me, bro. What are you talking about, dog? Like, you don't even. You're not a salesperson. I, what? We done? Who's going to cook a better three course meal? Oh, definitely not me. Yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely I can't not cook. Me. You can't cook either? I can't cook. Oh, so we may put neither. I, <laughs> I put milk and you put I put <laughs> I, I for sure can't cook. Yeah, I'm terrible. I can make good peanut butter and jelly. That I doesn't make, count. Um, yeah. You can't make nothing? No, I can make PB and J, obviously. I can no, make but I, I like toast cheese. mine, though. <laughs> I toast mine. You said grilled Sometimes. cheese? No. Ooh, Eggos? <laughs> I have two more. I have two more. You guys get to be superheroes for five hours. Who solves more crimes? Saves more lives. We just gonna get to talking to everybody and see what happens. <laughs> I like, mean, I'm listen. on to the next. Like, you know what I mean? I'm got. I gotta connect with my people. See? You know what I'm saying? But like, if I, like in a series though, like me, I'm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I might crash out. Next one. <laughs> next one. I'm not gonna be a bad guy. <laughs> the apocalypse hits. Who survives longer? Oh yeah, that's me for sure. I watched too many of those movies. I watched them too. Yeah, that's definitely me. That's definitely me. We'll be together. We'll do something. You feel yeah. me? Like we'll figure we got it out. our dogs. We oh, we we good for right, sure. We the dogs we got. Dogs. We keep straight. All right, last one. No, you I'm just said sure. last one. You lied. No, I didn't. You said two I more. I definitely two didn't more. say that. And then that. we did two more. And now right, you said last one. Last one. Who's your best friend on the team? Don't got one. Aww, so nice. Me. Ah, what about Reese? Oh God, <laughs> I thought she was for a second. 
Uh, all right, that was great, y'all. Well done, thank you very much.